uh, Niles, uh, you're up. Hello. Uh, thanks for coming on again. Um, my question for you is uh, regarding, you've mentioned before that gay rights may very well be like a civil rights issue as racial discrimination was. Uh, would you as president possibly push for federal involvement, like making it to where people are unable to discriminate against someone because of their sexual preference? Um, just as we had to do, unfortunately, since people were discriminated against for their race. Yes, um, I, I think that this may be on par, um, that, that, that it is a civil rights issue, and that um, may justify um, federal involvement. Um, you'd like to think it belong. I, I absolutely believe that it belongs in the states, but if it belonged in the states, would there still be a state today that... Uh, that maintain slavery, for that matter, if, if uh, not having been made a, a federal issue. Uh, so, um, like I say, I, um, I have changed my position from supporting uh, gay unions to just outright support of uh, gay marriage, uh, believing um, first and foremost uh, in equality and uh, the notion that uh, this can, can get done much e easier and more effectively uh, without a change uh, in the language of virtually every uh, law in, uh, in Washington, that by, by equally recognizing uh, gay marriage, uh, that uh, this can be brought about much, much more quickly with less cost and uh, um, making it happen. Thank you. And I definitely agree with you about the Colorado issue. We're definitely going to do it first next year. <laughs> Good. Good. No. Thank you, Niles, Mike. I'd just like to add that um, he's absolutely right, that from a federal government perspective, the number one thing that Congress and the president can do is to repeal the Defense of Marriage Act. Um, as far as, right. as other things go, um, uh, there's a case to be made that since other groups are protected, then why not add gay people? But in terms of political priorities, the question is how many people are, are really affected? And, you know, I happen to be uh, of the belief that I, I don't really, we don't have a position on the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, for example. Um, I don't happen to believe it should be a priority of the gay community. I think that uh, the Defense of Marriage Act is the piece of legislation that affects the most day-to-day -day lives of gay couples. Um, I think that uh, the market and certainly public relations has, has had a bigger impact on uh, employment discrimination than the government could ever have. Just try to fire somebody because they're gay and, and watch – uh, your business be affected from the PR nightmare. I think I think that um, there are so many uh, uh, other pieces of federal legislation that could actually help the day-to-day -day lives of most gay Americans that that should be where the the uh, priority is placed. Just like I mean, there are things that you wouldn't even think about, like free market health care. Uh, when we take the employer and the government out of the healthcare decisions and put the, the power uh, of purchasing healthcare into the individual's hands and allow them to go on the market and buy across state lines and put uh, tax credits together with their partner to find a plan that fits them, then they don't have to uh, rely on whether the federal government or their employer offer domestic partner benefits, for example or in social security savings, okay. you know, or uh, uh, in social security reform, when we talk about putting private accounts uh, as part of social security reform, so individuals can designate whoever they want as their beneficiary, whether they're gay or not. There are so many things that can help the day-to-day -day lives of gay people that, that should be the priority of the gay community. Thank you. Thank you.